Hi everyone, this is Nate coming to you again with another awesome voltage video and today we are going to be talking about how to easily set up a BTC pay server crowdfund page with voltage in about 10 minutes. So let's hop right into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to voltage.cloud and you're going to see the home page here. Go ahead and hit log in in the upper right corner. And we are, if you don't already have a Voltage account, go ahead and click sign up. And here is where you're gonna to wanna to put your email. I just made a new email for this purpose. Just to show you all the steps. So we're gonna go ahead and register. It's gonna send us a confirmation code. There it is. I'm going to toss that in there, register. Great, now we have our dashboard. So you are free to sort of click around, see what you can do on your new voltage dashboard. But um, for the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and click nodes. And it's gonna give you options here. So we can either start a lightning node or we can do a BTC pay server. Uh, you can do both and accept lightning with BTC pay. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna do the default on chain BTC pay server. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. All right, so this is a seven day free trial and then it's 6.99 per month. It's important to uh, remind everyone that that includes unlimited stores, unlimited apps, unlimited transactions. That's a flat cost no matter how much you're using it. Uh, it's very, very different compared to something like OpenNode that charges you uh, a percentage every time. So go ahead and click create your store. Now it's gonna ask for a store name. Um, this is something that is only for your purposes. The outside world isn't gonna see your store name. This is just to help keep you organized. So like if I'm starting a crowdfund for a little league baseball or something, I could say little league baseball fund, whatever. If I have a node with voltage, it'll be in this list. This will automatically connect them together. Uh, so you can use your voltage node on BTC pay. We don't have a voltage node running right now. So we're just going to leave that blank. And then it's going to say, create a Bitcoin wallet for your store. So this is, do you want a hot wallet as part of your BTC pay server? You can do this. It's really easy. You generate keys and you write them down, you know, your seed phrase and you write them down. Um, I prefer to be a little bit more secure. So we're gonna be doing that a different way. Again, you can do that, no problem. Feel free to experiment. But we're gonna go in and we're gonna say, I'll create my own for now. And then we're gonna create the store. Okay. Our BTC pay server account has successfully been created. Um, here is a password we'll have to change when we get in for the first time. So go ahead and click that to copy. Username is your email. And there we are. So, so just put in the info that the dashboard just provided you with and then sign in. Congratulations. You now have a BTC pay server in just a couple minutes. Okay, so there's three things that we need to do. Actually, yeah, well, we already made our store the Little League Baseball Fund. We can make multiple stores if we want to. That's no problem. And then we have to set up wallets. Uh, so we could do either on-chain or lightning. For this, we're going to do uh, on-chain. So we're going to click wallet. And then we're going to do connect an existing wallet. And then we're going to do enter extended public key. So don't get too freaked out. 
There are many other options that you can do. You could connect the hardware wallet directly, which is pretty cool. I like to do the public key. So um, basically, if you have a Trezor or a Ledger or Blue Wallet, you can extract your public key and then send it to yourself and then put it in here. So the reason why you would do that is because this way, every time somebody donates, it'll generate a new address. So it's good for privacy. Uh, one of the trade-offs though, is that if you are intending to combine these uh, donations together, the, the on-chain fee to do so will increase because you have because you have more inputs in the, um, in the transaction. So keep that in mind. I'll show you here in a second how you can combine, uh, I'm sorry, have a minimum donation amount. So you can, uh, you know, you can make it $10 or something so people aren't donating, just change. Um, so I'm right now what I'm doing is I'm going into my blue wallet and I'm pulling out the, uh, the public key. Again, you can do this with a hardware wallet. Okay, so I am sending it to myself right now. The reason I'm just showing you guys how fast this process is. Okay, so now we are going to Okay, so I got it here All right, I'm gonna turn the monitor back on. Okay, so we're gonna paste it in hit continue It's going to say okay. These are the addresses that are coming up are these correct? So go ahead and like compare the addresses your wallet is generating to these to make sure they match and then hit confirm. All right, and here we are. We just set up the wallet that we are gonna get paid to through our crowdfund. Now that that's set up, we can go ahead and click new app and it's gonna say app type point of sale. So if you have, you know, a bakery or something, that's what you would use. In this case, we're gonna do crowdfund, and we're gonna name it uh, Little League Crowdfund. Create. Great. So now we have the name. We're gonna need a title. We'll just make the title the same thing, right? And a description. Help donate to the Little League uh, squad. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> And then you could say if you want donations uh, denominated in dollars or Bitcoin, obviously you're gonna get Bitcoin. So, you know, depending on what your audience is, they might wanna see dollars, they might wanna see Bitcoin. Go ahead and just change it to BTC if you want. I'm gonna leave it USD for now. We'll say our target amount is $1,000. That sounds fine. Uh, you can have the goal reset every month. Uh, we're gonna make it public. We want everybody to see it. And then, you know, there's a few other options here. You can uh, change. And then we're going to add an item. So this is gonna allow people to type in sort of what they want. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and add your first item. Title, um, we'll say contribute, uh, minimum $5. And you know, you can add an image, you could do text, you could do add any of this if you want to. Just go ahead and save changes. Okay, so that should be enough for us to save our settings. And now we can click view crowdfund. So we'll go ahead and click that and we'll see how it looks. All right, so Little League crowdfund currently active. We need $1,000, we haven't raised anything yet. We can hit contribute here and it should let us put in at least $5 worth. So we'll just say, let's say we'll do 20, okay? And then we'll hit continue. And there it is. And then as soon as somebody pays this, it will start filling up the bar. And remember, this QR code 
is directly into your custody from the wallet that we just set up a few minutes ago. BTC Pay Server holds no funds. Voltage holds no funds. This is simply an interface connecting you with the person paying you. All right, now since we have this all set up, when we hit view crowdfund, this is the link that you are going to either share with the world or you are going to um, have a domain redirect to, right? So you could have blah, 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 like littleleaguefund.com or whatever, and then share that out with people and have that redirect to this. You could do that on your, um, on your website configuration, uh, cPanel and whatnot. So that's what you share with everybody. So that's it uh, for this video. If you would like to use Lightning Network also, um, you are able to do that. If you have a node at home or if you're running a voltage node, it is fairly simple to connect. But in this video, I wanted to just show everyone how easy it was to just get an on-chain crowdfund going with voltage. And that's it for me, guys. Have a great day.